Howdy do you fellas, this is your host Super Poopy And today we're gonna We're gonna introduce a new series But what is it? I'm gonna call it Surplus of the Month Or I'm not sure, maybe Cool stuff I got Monthly grab I don't fucking know But we got a bunch of cool shit And you know, these past two months I got a lot of cool shit, including surplus So I was like, why not just create this series uh, covering all the cool shit I get every month Now, there are some things that are super cool That will need their own video on themselves But let's just, let's just jump right into it Without investigating Now, okay, so over here We got a crap ton of Yugoslavian ammunition Very lovely And if you don't know, they still make 8mm Mauser Wait, that country doesn't exist anymore but the point is, they were existent, and they made a crap ton of it, so it's a lot, a lot left over, uh, and it, it works with my K98 just fine. In fact, I used up a box, and the guy I bought all this eight millimeter Mauser from, um, he couldn't find another box to give me because I ordered five, but he gave me four Yugos, and he gave me a second World War II box. So now I have thirty rounds of original German World War II ammunition, which is freaking awesome. Now, uh, more stuff that we got. We got a freaking German scope. Now, I don't know if this is World War II. Um, there's a huge, there's a chance it might be post-war, which really breaks my heart because I paid a hundred bucks for this, which is still a good price for a scope. It's a good scope. It's super clean. It's beautiful. But I don't know where to find the goddamn adapters for this. I I don't know where to find the the scope mount or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna take a close look at it. And uh, I'm not sure if I should put this on my K98, if I even can. Uh, I'm not about to drill holes on my rifle, but if there's, uh, if I could get the correct parts, shit, I'll do it. Let's take a closer look at this. Been trying to hold it still for a while, but look, there's the scope. You can see what it's aiming at, the painting behind me. Freaking beautiful. As you can see, it's super crispy clear. So I'd love to use that. And plus, I like. How the stripes look real nice in there. Let's say, take a look at the front. Yeah, very good scope. Still in freaking good condition. I just need the goddamn freaking scope mount. Now I don't know where the hell to find it. So yeah, unless I want to get the hooks on here, I could do that. And then this will just be like a retarded piece of metal sticking out of the bottom. But it works. But yeah, it also did come with a scope cover because you got to keep the lens protected. All right. Anyways, let's move on. I have officially joined the Mauser squad. Why? Because I ain't about them garbage rods. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I am in the market for actually a Mosin Nagant uh, because it is a nice rifle and there's a crap ton of them. They're affordable. We're not going to go too much into detail because I'm going to make a video of this rifle in itself. Uh, so I'm just letting you guys know that I got a German World War II K98 as you've seen in the videos of me firing it, it does work and everything nice and clean original german world war ii k98 very awesome making a separate video on this i'm not sure if i'm going to be releasing the video of the rifle first or this so uh stay tuned for that either way you know now we did forget one more uh surplus item original world war ii clips i know nothing special at the end of the day they're just pieces of metal that hold your rounds just like this so you can slip the rounds into the rifle if you want i can give you guys a demonstration uh why not but i'll do that later but yeah th this is how it works bullet slip in there ka -chow. yeah my brother the other day at the shooting range was trying to slip in the clip into the rifle like if it were a grand which is just silly now um next item we got pouches because i mean how are we gonna have a k98 and just dump a bunch of rounds into an STG 44 part it doesn't make sense so uh each of these pouches carries 10 rounds unless you could jam in a third one or something so yeah this is about 30 rounds here plus 60 and I'm sure a lot of German soldiers would just stash ammunition to their extra pockets because I mean the eastern front was intense so you know you need all the ammo that you could get so yeah got double mag pouches to go with my Jaeger impression or my upcoming um, Spanish uh, Blue Division. Either way, they're cross compatible. Even if I do an SS kit, you know, it'll work. So yeah, and they do work. I shoved ammunition into these, into all of these with clips, 
and they work just beautifully. And of course, your boy gotta get ammunition for his K98. Now, I use these all up, but they got like the little stubby tip. I already used it at the range. Uh, you probably saw me in the video using it, but I wanna show you guys this ammo by Rifle Line Ammunition. Same as that one, but this one's different. Cause it's more, it's pointy. See that? It's an exact reproduction of the eight millimeter Mauser, which is pretty damn cool. And it'll fit in the clips just fine, you know? It's it, it's eight millimeter Mauser, so you know, it's not any different. Oh crap, almost dropped it. But yeah, you could hear the powder and everything. Hear that freaking ASMR or some shit. But yeah, very lovely. Nice primers. And I got some ammo by Federal. But uh, I mean, I don't know, it's just ammunition. I guess it's something I'm in uh, California it's just really cool having it and I was never exposed to these kind of stuff as a child so it's extra fascinating to me and I got federal but it's the chomped around just like this one there I'll show you guys in a bit but yeah as you can see it's got the darkened tip and it's all chomped you can see this one's bigger and pointier now um the next item is uh, a bayonet frog um, not the bayonet in itself. As you know, I already made a video on this very bayonet. Uh, it was captured by my friend's grandfather. I'm just holding on to it for a bit, just for collective purposes and to put on the K98 and just go hokey pokey some people, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, as for this, this is kind of a shitty reproduction, but we somehow made it work. Uh, it is by IMA Militaria, uh, but basically what was going on is that this was a tiny ass hole, all right? And we had to jam this huge piece of metal into that hole. We had to stretch the shit out of it and make it fit. And now it's unnoticeable that there was a problem with it. If you stretched out leather, works just fine. And it doesn't look too farby. So if it gets the job done, I mean, it gets the job done. So, you know. Anyways, like and subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I just want to let y'all, I love y'all and appreciate y'all. Because we're almost at 500 subscribers and that is somewhat of a milestone because it's halfway of 1000 if you do the math it works so you know we're up there you know what i'm saying but also we got new projects coming up including different stuff that have nothing to do with like military surplus or anything just fun adventures and also i don't know if you guys want college vlogs but shit i wouldn't mind doing that but Overall, I think we're good today. Uh, I'm going to make a video on this specific rifle probably tonight. But yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything more to say. You know, support the content. We're going to be working on a lot more projects and a lot more good stuff. So I love y'all. Take care. Like and subscribe. Y'all people are beautiful.